sure you keep up with all the new content on Gaming for XP. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. And we'll let you know once we've uploaded anything that's new. See ya! Welcome back to the channel and welcome to my 2018 mud load order as of the end of April and <laughs> this constantly changes for um, for me and um, I recently lost a couple of mods because I've done a fresh install so I've got a whole lot of um, memory to play with <laughs> which means I'd go searching for more mods but this is one of my most popular videos on the channel my original uh, mod load order and it's one that I think people struggle a little bit with so today I'm going to show you what I have got currently running and FYI this might take a while because there's a few mods to go through and um, so let's get into it so here we go here's the mod load order I've cut out all the crap that you have to go through to log in and whatnot so let's go through them one by one I have the unofficial fallout patch I don't think this is available for um, PlayStation 4 unfortunately great mod this is updated a lot and uh, just cuts out all the nasties and gets rid of a lot of the bugs that are in the game USA or base game we all know that one available on all platforms and um, it sits by default up the top here the master plan also now sits up at the top Etheron just done a big update on these recently and for some reason the master plan defaults up there and I generally have both the USO mod groups of mods and the master plan group of mods together in the past but these two default up there so I just leave them there if anything kind of flicks itself up to the top of the load order I just tend to leave it there then we have place anywhere you would have seen that used extensively on the channel settlement objects expansion pack which is a uh, uh, xbox specific mod great little mod plus there is a fix fixer mod which sometimes with your game the menus will disappear and so I use that when that happens just to re-install um, menus. And a lot of the time if you're putting a new mod in or you uninstall a mod, then um, you have to run that, that particular um, function to get everything back where it should be. And now is the series of grafties, uh, signs and posters, sign of the times, etc, etc. Um, great little mod. I know there are compatible ones with PS4, but this just adds a whole heap of signs in, which I use a lot. The road signs I'm thinking of getting rid of because I really don't use those, but the other two definitely. But you can see that's a rather large mod at 220 megabytes. Decoration and furniture expansion. I'm not sure if that's still available. It's a great, great mod. I use it a lot. And it's available on all platforms. Uh, so do yourself a favor, grab that. You, it gives you a whole lot of neat stuff like uh, bubble heads and Nuka Cola bottles, all kinds of stuff. Nice little mod. Do it yourself. I love because I'm lazy with decoration. So put a shelf down, put prepaid, pre um, ordained um, rubbish in, and you're done. Two seconds. Better. Better Stores, done a review on that, love Better Stores, I'm sure the guy is an Aussie uh, developer because he has an Australian flag and that's one of the reasons I love it, but there's so much to that mod. And then we have the Far Harbour extension for that, or expansion. Dino's Decoration and Clutter is from the same author as Do It Yourself, and that just uh, gives you individual little items and I, I, I love that. Elven Blossoms items, don't use that a heck of a lot these days. Um, maybe that one needs to go because I haven't used that in so so long um, there is a PS4 version as you can see on PC it's a good little mod um, especially for the pre-made stores that uh, they have in that mod 
So now we're getting to the master plan mods. Castle in the Sky, I've only just downloaded it and you can see that's a huge mod, 348 megabytes. Um, and that show gives you a whole lot of options. Haven't started playing with that one yet. Um, Draco Invictus, thanks very much mate, you've just uh, cost me 300 and 48 megabytes but <laughs> joking aside I will be playing that with that fairly shortly. Vanilla extensions love 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 that mod use it a lot. Port Royal I've used in my Nordhagen or Stonehagen beach uh, build really like that mod too. Bob's Iguana Diana recently used that in a uh, Cutler's Bend that allows you to put a Drumlin Diner or builds a Drumlin Diner if you want to. Cabin in the Woods, check out the Ten Pines Bluff Fort build, that was used extensively there. Red Rocket, that's great if you want to recreate a Red Rocket, or more specifically if you want to create the workshop area in the Red Rocket, great little mod. Stairs, ladders and ramps I use a lot, a ton and it's exactly what it says on the package. Settlement Supplies Expansion, I use a fair bit from time to time. Um, I'm not sure if that's available on all platforms or not. Atoms Greatness, don't use, a, I don't, blah, blah, blah. don't use that a lot. Um, that actually just puts in a couple of different church options if you want them. Uh, pipes Galore, again I've done a build on Spectacle Island with the Pipes Galore. Or pipe galore and haven't really used it since probably should go back and have a look at that and then we're into the USO um, add-ons wasteland workshop vault tech workshop far harbor nuka world contraptions autumn matron and the mashups and then the raiders one so there's a whole raft of those and again they're available for all platforms minutemen morale pack Adds a whole lot of uh, neat stuff for the Minutemen, for your settlement. And now we're into the junk walls. And I've got a few of these. So we have junk wall collection, workshop junk wall park, and uh, then creative clutter. And I love creative clutter. It's one of my favorite mods. Uh, it just saves me so much time with these pre-made um, shelves, furniture, etc. Uh, and uh, yeah, just fantastic. Uh, updated fairly regularly, uh, but it is quite a large mod at 218 megabytes. Makeshift Furniture is a recent one, but I absolutely love it. Love, love, love it. Again, saves you so much time. And I, as you know, if you've watched the channel for a while, I've been inspired to make my own furniture based on this mod. mod and it's only tiny, 1.29 kilobytes. Solar power, that gives you solar power generators. T2M mod, again, another favourite. I've done a review on that. And uh, this mod dev is constantly updating this mod. Uh, only available on Xbox and PC. Snappy Haskets, used that extensively, especially on uh, the, um, the builder that sanctuary with the pier and whatnot. Um, rebuild modular sanctuary uh, houses this is ported by cordless and I love this mod it just allows you to get either the pre or post war um, pieces for the houses at sanctuary and you can use them wherever you like sandbag fortifications adds so so much more fortification options the only thing the only downside to this is it needs to be organized a little bit better if the um, if the mod dev for uh, workshop rearranges are listening, if you could put a patch on that rearranges these nicely or in a separate menu, it would be fantastic. Poster supports and beams just got that last week. Um, uh, there was a another fairly well known YouTuber who has uh, done a review on this, and I am loving what I'm seeing. But I've, I have only really had one look at it, so I'm sure I'll find more and more content as we go through. Workshop rearranged, probably my favourite mod in the game, basically because of the way this mod dev has taken the time to fix a lot of the snapping options, as has the Etheron who does all the master plan. Um, 
mods but also the way that it organizes the menus is fantastic and i don't think i could be weaned off that i know other um fellow builders have recently taken workshop rearranged off but um it's for me it's just one of the the best mods that i've got it is fairly large and i know it is um it has some restrictions it's uh, i think it's only on pc and um xbox plus you have to have all the dlcs to run it but boy oh boy i really love it really love it then below that so that's all kind of the decoration mods all together. Then under that, I generally have my patches. So this is a workshop rearrange patch for master plan, one for USO, and then one for those sanctuary house um, builds. And then uh, the grounded mod, again, ported by Cordless from PS4. Love, love, love this mod. Uh, this mod is just fantastic. I will be doing a... Um, Mod review and quite a few of the newer mods that are on this list fairly shortly and grounded. One of the ones that's up the top to do. No build. So now we're into the um, building mods and I have done a um, video recently talking about these a little bit more in a little bit more detail. No build limit just takes a limit off there. It's available on all off your uh, settlements so that you don't have that issue. It's on all platforms. Get all perks. Again, it's what it says. It just gives you all the perks. And for me, I basically use it for my build video so I don't have to go on quest and level up. Um, when I'm playing gameplay, that's switched off. Unlimited crafting supplies, exactly what it says. Building supplies create is pretty much the same. Settlement tweaks is a scrapping mod. Only clear weather in the Commonwealth. And again, this is specifically for building and making YouTube videos so that the weather is clear. And uh, PC and Xbox. And I think it is on PS4 now because I've checked that out. Um, the dialogue mod that just changes the way the dialogue looks. And now we're into the kind of gameplay mods. Improved map visi with visible roads. This may or may not work for you, as you can see by the description there. Uh, I love it. It enhances the maps and it shows you a little bit more detail. Everyone's best friend, Dogmate, just allows me to have two companions. Easy mini games, again, that's for gameplay, and that kind of allows you to lockpick so much easier. You still have to have the right perks on at the right level, um, but it takes away the password options and helps you lockpick easier. Overgrowth uh, and Dense Spring in the Commonwealth. These two mods are basically for gameplay and they're immersion, immersion mods. And if you've seen the immersion mods uh, video I put out recently, you will get a little bit more um, in-depth uh, background to those. Horror posters. Had that for my trailer park build at Starlight and a few other places. And Workbench Anywhere um, by Andrew CX, which I've been using uh, extensively at Cutler's Bend. Uh, Conquest Mod. One of the downsides of Workbench Anywhere is it doesn't allow you to have settlers and various other things. So I'm going to start playing around with the Conquest Mod uh, for builds that I'll do that are not s specific to uh, a settlement in the game. Universal missing menus again if your menus are missing you need to get a fixer mod haven't played with that yet But um, it's there in case I need it uh, Clean the Commonwealth is another scrapping mod I've got but I don't use now, but it is linked to some of my saves So there you go guys you can see I don't know how many mods that is there's a heck of a lot of mods I have a lot of these mods I use for are very specific to building other mods are very specific to gameplay and um, hopefully it help you try to sort out your load order. So guys, I hope that's useful. I hope you've enjoyed watching my updated mod list for 2018. Thanks for watching the channel. And we'll catch you next time on Gaming for XP.